by my pumpkin penguins. We are going to do some pumpkin yoga. Remember that yoga helps us focus our brain and our body. We have to think about what we're doing with our brain and use our body in control. So you might have a pumpkin that you can do this with. If you don't have a pumpkin, you can use a stuffed animal or even just your body. So let's get started. Let's take a really comfy seat with our pumpkin in our lap. And now let's calm our body by doing some pumpkin breathing. Use your finger, start at the stem, and trace down first. Feel the line of the pumpkin. Next, you're going to trace up and breathe in, and then trace down and breathe out. Let's go. Again, next line, breathe in. Next line again, breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And breathe in. And out. Great. We use pumpkin breathing to focus our brain. Now, let's try some focusing with our five senses. I want you to sit in a comfy spot and place your pumpkin in front of you. Now, you can either make your eyes really soft on your pumpkin, or you can close them, whatever works for you. I want you to look at your pumpkin and think of your five senses. Think about what your pumpkin looks like. Now, think about what your pumpkin smells like. Think about what your pumpkin sounds like. Think about what your pumpkin feels like. Think about what your pumpkin tastes like. Good job. Use all of those five senses with your pumpkin. Next, open up your legs. Keep your pumpkin right where it is. Take a nice big stretch and reach it. And back again. Take a nice big stretch and reach it. And back again. Now, take a big stretch and stay right there. Pretend that your pumpkin turned into pumpkin pie. Smell it. Smell the pumpkin pie. Oh, smells good. Grab your pumpkin and lift it up. And back down again, stretch. Grab your pumpkin, lift it up. And back down again. Nice job. Take your legs and move into table pose. Make a nice flat back. Now, put your pumpkin on your back. Hold it, lift your head up. Now let's see if we can be a cat and a cow. Here's our cat, be very careful. Don't drop your pumpkin. And cow, go really slowly, sag your belly. Yay. And in cat. Don't drop your pumpkin. And back out. Cow, sag your belly, move. Good, flat back, hold your table. It's like you're eating pumpkin pie at the table. Good, grab your pumpkin so it doesn't fall and sit on back down. Next, let's pretend that we are a growing pumpkin in the patch. Put your pumpkin down on your mat and move into child's pose over your pumpkin. Here's your pumpkin seed, it's in the ground, and let's water it. Next, our pumpkin starts to grow. Grow it up. Reach up to the sky, we start to sprout our pumpkin. You can turn your body, good. Now, let's move up into chair pose. Our pumpkin is sprouting, let's grab our pumpkin. Hold it up. And next, extend all the way up. Our pumpkin is getting really tall into our tree. Above or below your knee, hold up. 
your pumpkin? You're so tall and you grew. Nice other side tree above or below your knee. Hold it up. So tall and you grew. All right, back down with your pumpkin. Next step forward, lunge. Lunge into your pumpkin. Your pumpkin's cheering you on. Good, step back again. And lunge forward. And your pumpkin's cheering you on. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Stretch back both your legs into a plank. There's your pumpkin under you on the ground. Good. Drop your knees down. Drop your belly down. Drop your legs. Good. Put your pumpkin in front of you. Snake. Smells a pumpkin. Good. Okay. Our legs are up. Go into dog. Dog barks at a pumpkin. Good. Hop on back up towards your pumpkin. Good. Lift it back up again. Awesome. Stretch all the way back and to the side and to the side again. Nice job. Next, we are going to do triangle with our pumpkin. Hold it all the way up in the sky and, and back up, switch hands all the way up in the sky. Bend. Now you can put it on the floor in front of you. There's Rookie and bend on down. Next, what I want you to do, these are our balancing pose. You can put your pumpkin down. Rookie's balancing too and watching. And you're going to do some poses where you watch your pumpkin. Make sure that you don't fall by putting your legs down. Use your pumpkin to help you balance. First is our tree, above or below our knee. Look right at your pumpkin. Rookie's focus too. He's watching the pumpkin. All right, leg down. All right, other side. Keep watching your pumpkin. Leg up. Good. Leg down. Perfect. Next one, our pumpkin's in front of us. We are going to do an eagle pose. Take your leg, twist it over the other. Now, take both your arms and twist them. Now look down at your pumpkin and hold it. Nice release, shake it off. Other side, keep looking at your pumpkin. Twist your leg all the way over. Twist your arms all the way over. Look down at your pumpkin. If you're going to fall, put your leg down. Nice release, shake it off. Good, next, we can bend on down. Pick up our pumpkin. Hey. Namaste, pumpkin. Perfect. Let's sit on back down. Whew, our heart is going. We can do some pumpkin breathing to bring it back down. Let's breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in. Breathe out. Great. Let's try a different type of pumpkin breathing. I want you to lay down right where you are. Place your pumpkin on your belly or your stuffed animal or whatever you have. Here comes Rook. She loves the pumpkin. Now, let's breathe in and make our pumpkin go up. And breathe out when our pumpkin goes down. Feel it sink into your body. Breathe in again. And out. And breathe in again. And out. Now friends, I want you to lay here just like this, breathing in and out while I read to you about your pumpkin.
Imagine that you have a magical seed in your hands. Whisper a secret to the seed. Tell it you'd like it to grow into a pumpkin. Now dig a hole in the ground. Plant your seed in the hole and cover it with dirt. Imagine that it starts to rain. Water slowly soaks into the soil. Now the sun comes out and shines brightly onto the garden. You start to see a tiny sprout poke up out of the soil. Tangled roots grow down into the ground. And the seed grows and grows and grows and grows into a beautiful pumpkin. What color is your pumpkin? What shape is your pumpkin? What is so special about your pumpkin? Enjoy looking and thinking about your beautiful pumpkin. You can stay here for as long as you need, but when you're ready, you can sit back up and show your teacher you're ready by holding your pumpkin in your lap. Namaste, friends.